This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. What do you think this program does? Ooh, okay. Now, students, keep in mind with ones like this, once we write an answer, we can hit run. However, once we hit run, your answer is submitted to your teacher, if I'm your teacher, to me. So make sure you consider this carefully and create your own answer. All right, let's take a look together, kind of brainstorm some. We have this class, obviously, my neighborhood, and a main method. Okay, so that will get executed. Then we're going to instantiate a object, a my painter. Uh, we we instantiate an instance of my painter using the my painter class. Uh, the constructor we pass to it five zero south and eight. Then we have a string array, which you could think of as a list, slightly different in Java, but you can think of this as a list of colors: white, purple, yellow, and green. Cool. So that's four in length three indexes, well, four indexes, zero, one, two, three. And now we have a for loop. For string color, ooh, colon, paint colors. I love this. Uh, this is something, what is the, oh yeah, enhance for loops, great. And then we say my painter dot paint. So we are using our instantiated painter class here, our painter object, my painter, calling the method paint and putting in color. Now, the question being here is what is color? What might this for loop be doing where I say string color? Obviously, we don't have the color variable elsewhere, right? String color. That is being declared right here, right? There's not another variable named color except here. And then we have a colon that is paint colors. So what do we think this is going to do? If my painter can move, my painter dot move, huh? As long as I can move, I move. I hit the bottom. I go back to the top. And for string color dot colon paint colors. So this might break everything. We haven't seen anything like this before. However, if theoretically given a code that this is a thing that this works, what would it likely do? Well, if theoretically it did work, I would assume string color is going to be equal to each item in paint colors, right? because it's a for loop. So I know we're like going through it. So if this is going to work, and again, we haven't seen anything like this before, so we're not sure, but I would assume that color will represent each individual color as we loop through our array. Let's keep going though. Oh, and then we're going to turn left. Ah, and here's a traditional for loop for int equals zero index must be less than paint colors dot length, which is the length of four index plus plus so index starts at zero at the end of each loop we add one to index index is not allowed to be larger uh index index must be smaller than four which makes sense index zero index one index two index three and then we gonna then we are going to paint with my colors dot index starting at zero the first time so that's white hit this we move forward hit the bottom go back to the top of our loop we told it plus plus, so that means index is equal to index plus one. Index was zero, one plus zero plus one is one. Index is now one. One is still less than the length of colors, which is four. So then we're going to go ahead and paint purple back around two. Index two is yellow, paint yellow back around green. Index three is green, paint green back around, add one we would now index would now be four four is not the less than the length of this which is four all right so we have not seen this before given these two loops though i am going to assume that this will execute appropriately so what do you think the program does i'm just doing bullets and i'm doing my words not yours but all right basically what i was saying here oh i wrote too much but program we instantiate uh, an in an instance, whatever. An instance, an object of the painter class. Then we declare an array of strings and we populate it. Program has a for loop that appears to loop through each of the very each of the colors using this variable color. Each of paint colors. Program has a traditional loop and we do another four dots. So each of the colors, painting four dots. All right. Not perfect, kind of a rough idea of it. Now, of course, you need your own answer because you need to show that you understand this. This is going to be really useful as we move forward. All right, let me get this shot.
Ba-da! Onward.